challenge. This one is a level eight. We're doing it in JavaScript. It's called sum without highest and lowest number. Uh, and so as always, there's a link to the challenge in the show notes. Try it out before watching the video. That's the best way to get good at JavaScript. The other way to get good at it is with repeated practice. So subscribe to the channel. You're notified every time I do one of these and you can keep practicing. Okay, so let's do the challenge here. So we're gonna sum all the numbers in a given array, uh, except the highest and lowest element uh, by value, not by index. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so the highest or lowest element respectively is a single element at each edge, uh, even if there are more than one of the same value. Okay, mind the input validation. Okay, so one, one. So here, this is interesting. All right, so we're gonna take those two. You would only take out one of the ones. You take out the 11, so you have one plus two plus three is six, okay. Here we take out the one, we take out the 10. So two plus six is eight plus eight is 16. Okay, cool. So if you have ties of the lowest number, you're only taking out one, okay? All right, so with that in mind, what we need to do is first uh, sort the array. Uh, so let's say, you know, const sorted is equal to array sort. This is a huge pain, but when you sort in JavaScript, it's not intuitive. Uh, you take two numbers, you subtract uh, subtract the first number from the second number, and this is how you sort. So it's a pain. Uh, I just you get into the habit of memorizing it, um, but this is how we sort numbers in JavaScript. So now they're sorted smallest to largest. So what we're going to do is we're going to now take those numbers. So we're, we're going to turn the array sorted. Okay, we're going to slice out, start at the second, go all the way up to the second to last, which I think. I think this would work. Let me see. Let's pull up a console here. We'll zoom it in here. Okay, so I've got my uh, numbers there. Let's slice it. Okay, cool. So it is going to chop off the first and the last ones here, and you just stuck with the middle ones there. Okay. Then what I'm going to do while we've got the console pulled up is we're going to reduce it. Uh, we'll take the total and the current value, and we'll return the total plus the current. Okay, so see here you see you get 14, so that would be one plus two plus three, or one plus 11 uh, plus two gets you 14, okay? So I'm gonna do all that in the code here. You're not gonna be able to see the result, but hopefully you can at least see that it's, it's doing it, okay? So we will reduce uh, the total, uh, and we return total plus current. Okay, uh, so let's see if we got that working. Ah, hark! Okay, cannot read property sort of null. Hmm. Array sort. Why would you, oh my gosh, why are you giving me a null then? Okay, so uh, if array triple equals null, uh, return what? What are we returning here? Zero, okay. So return zero. Um, what I might do is, okay, so this is throwing me off now. Um, if you, if, if it's a null, Let's do this. Uh, if we don't have an array, this is dangerous when you do this in JavaScript because uh, God knows what you're going to get. But that's one edge case. Uh, the other edge case is if array length is less than three, we will also return zero. And that takes care of a couple of edge cases there. All right, tests are passing. All right, nice job, y'all.